Charleston has a lot going on. It has small town charm, but a big city feeling. So much history and food history, all the way back to some of the first African Americans coming here. They bought this land back in the 60s. We work hard, and I'm still in the field helping them. Spring onions, strawberries, collards, cabbage, broccoli, chard, bok choy, cauliflower. Give y'all a real taste of Charleston. Typically hash goes over rice. It is the head of the pig and everything that goes in the head, ground up. Getting on a boat, going to see an oyster farm, you're really seeing where the food is coming from. So for half of the day, these natural oysters aren't able to feed, aren't able to grow. These cages with the buoys down, they are constantly in the water columns. So you're looking at three years or so to get a three inch oyster on a farm. In nine months, they're three inches for sure and still pretty wall to wall chubby fish. I didn't know if we would ever be able to even get into it. That's how cool this restaurant is. And every single dish we tried was amazing. Our philosophy is procure the best ingredients possible that are all grown here and raised here and caught here locally and treat them very simply. And that's what we do. Every day our menu changes. Getting to be immersed fully in all the great, amazing seafood that's in this area was really, really special. It's been a really great exploration of everything that kind of comes from this region. The way you flavor tea is after it's a finished product, you put it in big drums, you spray it with a natural oil or whatever flavor, you tumble it for 20 minutes, and then you let it sit for two days. What I love about ICCA and going on these adventures is these iconic experiences that we have. Not only, you know, experience the food, but also what makes the food. How'd the food get there? Today we put on about 120 briskets and they will come off tomorrow morning. Yeah, we got them loaded up pretty much down the whole smoker. It's about the things we saw, the things we learned, the stories we learned, the products we learned about, and then how do we weave that into what we do every day at Bloomin' Brains. So we're not reinventing the wheel here. Ponzu and raw fish is not our idea. A lot of people shy away from raw fish, but if you say, hey, listen, you know, like, do you eat sushi? They're like, well, yeah, I kind of like sushi. We're like, okay, well, this is kind of like the crossover dish for that. It's not just about telling the story, but it really is about getting a feel, a sense, and a taste of what a city and a region is all about.